So in this video we're going to look at the long run, otherwise known as a steady state for Markov chains. And so this is looking at the long run probability of the two outcomes, or looking at the long run uh, number of people, expected number of people for both of the outcomes. So as you remember, as we've gone through the different questions for Markov chains, there's sort of two different types. So there's for this one there's also two different steady states. So like, there's a long run probability one in which you may have two long runs such as 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 for the two different outcomes and then for the other one you have the long run number of people. So that case and we'll go through it again is like the pizza curry canteen at the school shop in which at each time there's different number of people uh, buying each and then uh, there will be a long run in which there'll be a point where there'll be a certain number of people have do it in one outcome and a certain number of people in another in which the number of people don't change. Now people may switch between but the total number of people in each outcome will remain constant. So there are two different types of methods for solving this. The first is using transition uh, matrices and then the second method is using some algebra. So in this video we're only going to be looking at the transition uh, matrix method. And this method is a lot easier when you have the calculator. And well, you can only really do it when you have the calculator. So if you do, if it is tech active, definitely use this method. And if it's tech free, the other method is uh, easier in regards so you can actually uh, do it by hand. So to begin, if you remember, we had the formula S n is equal to T n times S O. So that was the initial condition transition matrix and that was the probabilities at whatever n was. So n was example like 1, 2, 3 or 4. So you can think the long run steady state is going to be when n approaches infinity. So therefore you will get s infinity which is equal to t infinity times s 0. And that actually will give you a 2 by 1 matrix with definite uh, probabilities there. but So you can't do that by hand. You have a 2 by 2 matrix, so t x equal to something like that, and then you're not going to be able to times it infinitely times by hand. But rather, what happens is it converges. So s infinity converges to a certain number, no matter what steady state it starts off as. So assuming that this is, let's say, the steady state then you'll find that they start to going towards infinity, they start to converge towards whatever this steady state is going to be. Obviously, this is not an exact representation. But what happens is it converges relatively quickly, and then it's very close. So to find around about like infinity, we can just look at a very high number, and it will approximately be the same, let's say such as 50. So if you look at 50 for a steady state, so uh, S50, S50 that, that is going to be basically approximate to S infinity. So if we have S50, S50 is equal to T50 times S0. And then we can say that S50 uh, is approximate to S infinity. So all you can do is you can get on your calculator, find out what the T is for the specific question, and then put it to the power of 50 times by the initial condition, and that will equal approximately that. Now 50 was just an arbitrary number I chose. You could pick 100, you could pick 110, it's up to you. Try it on your calculator, and you can see sort of how close you can get. So this is derived from the transition matrix. And the reason why we can use that is because we're only looking at the final outcome. Because obviously with the long run steady state, we're only looking at the very final outcome. We're not looking at the, the previous ones. So we'll just show an example. And through this, I will show how it doesn't really matter what number you pick, as long as it's a big number. With regards to a few decimal places, it's going to give you the correct answer. So a soccer team, we've done this example before, but a soccer team which has a probability of winning equals 60% if won previously, so if it won its previous game then it's 60% chance of winning, and it has a probability of winning is 30% if it lost its previous game. So we want to find the steady state. So let's say find 
uh, the steady state win loss uh, probability. Well, firstly, we need to make the transition matrix. So the transition matrix is equal to this. And we'll say that here we'll have win, loss, win, loss. And then we'll let, so when there's a win and it's win at 0 0.6, that gives us 0 0.4. If they've won, they lost previous, they lost previously and then the winning is 30%, so that's 0 0.3. And that's 0 0.7. Then uh, S, so the initial condition, is equal, um, ah, the initial condition does not affect the steady state, so we can put in whatever we want as long as it adds up to, as long as the natural initial condition, so it adds up to the probability of 1. So we'll say that's a 1 there, and then we'll put a 0 here. And the question says that they won their first game. But as I said, the initial condition does not affect at all what this long steady state would be. And that makes sense, because in the steady state in the long run, you're going to be playing so many games that your first outcome will not change. The things that will affect the outcome are here, the conditional probabilities. That will affect what the long run probability, long run steady state will be. So then we can go uh, s to the infinity is equal to t to the infinity times s0. So we'll say that's approximate to s to the 50 equals t to the 50 times s0. So we put that into our calculator. This gives us to three decimal places, or 0 0.4, uh, we'll, say, we'll say four decimal places. So 0 0.4286, 0 0.4286, uh, this is just t to the 50, and then I'll times it by initial. 0 0.5714 and then this is 0 0.5714 times that by the initial condition we get 0 0.4286 0 0.5714 so as I said, it doesn't matter what the initial condition is, but you need to have it there where it adds up to 1. So we have this as a long-run steady state. And if you also want to try, put in um, t to the power of 150, and you'll find that to six decimal places, it's exactly the same matrix. So it does show that it converges pretty quickly, and to s to the 50 will be approximately to a lot of decimal places uh, the same as s to the infinity. So we can say that the long run, if you uh, find the steady state win loss probability, so you can say like the the long run is like the win is equal to forty two point eight six percent, and then the loss is equal to fifty seven point one four percent. So yeah, that's the long run probabilities. Obviously, it will fluctuate between games, but if you took like three hundred games, you'd find that. On average, 42.86% of the time they won, and then 57.14% of the time they lost. So, going uh, back to the previous, there is another type of question. So that was for the probability, but what about if they, if you're looking at rather the number of people? So we've done this question as well in the previous transition matrices, but now we'll look at it with regards to the steady state. So 100 students either eat pizza or curry. 40% chance a student eats pizza if they ate pizza yesterday, and a 70% chance if they ate curry yesterday, so they'll eat pizza. Um, and then 80 students ate pizza on the first day, so find steady state. So find uh, in in the long run. We'll say like find in the long run how many eat curry. Yeah, so first thing we need to find is the transition matrix. So we've derived this one before. We'll do it again. So we'll say that's pizza curry, pizza curry. It's always good to sort of label those in your working out just so you can make sure you get it right. So 40% chance eats pizza if they eat pizza. So that's PP, so that's 0 0.4. And we can automatically know that's 0 0.6 now. 70% if they ate curry yesterday. So that's P curry previous. So that's 0 0.7 up here. 
and that's 0 0.3. Make sure you remember that's previous and that's the current. So we have the transition matrix here. Now the initial condition is equal to 100 students and then we find that 80 eat pizza and 20 eat curry. Now the initial condition for this one, it doesn't matter what these numbers are, but it does matter what the total is. So the total the, the, so the total number does affect long run. And that's important. So it doesn't matter if that's 80, 20, 50, 50, 60, 40, but it does matter that the total is equal to 100. So we'll say that t to the uh, s to the infinity is equal to t to the infinity times by s. And then we'll use that approximate by using 50. So sub that into the calculator and we will get so we get 53.84 and then 46.15 and we can approximate that and say that in the long run how many eat curry so that rounds to 46 and with the number of pe people you want to give an exact thing so you say that uh, sort of in long run uh, sort of on our uh, in long run, 46 people eat curry. And I knew that it was a bottom number because if you look here, we said curry was here, curry was here, curry was here. So therefore, in the, uh, in the long run, it's going to be the bottom number, which will relate to the curry. So that's how you can use the transition matrices to calculate the long run uh, steady state and using your calculator.